What's up, y'all? It's your girl saying, and today we're gonna be looking at a video from Jubilee, a show that they have called The Dilemma, and it is titled, She's Dying. Ooh, that doesn't sound too good. Let's go ahead and get into it and see what they're talking about. In relationship with my abusive mother. So if you've never seen this before, the person in the middle, they're gonna be anonymous the whole time. They ask a question, and then the rest of the group, there's two boxes of uh, yes or no. So what they just said was, do I mend my relationship with my uh, mother and she's dying. So now we're gonna see what these people have to say. Yes or no. So do I mend my relationship with my abusive mother? Honestly, I need more context like what happened before I can even move to a box. But I guess cause you have to in the beginning, I guess I would hit yes until I can get some more questions out and then we'll move around from there. I think family is very important. If you can at least try to have some kind of communication between you and your mother, I think that's a very important thing. I think it's a very subjective situation mm -hmm. though, because mm -hmm. like when you have an abusive person in your life, it's really, really mm -hmm. hard to keep amends with them. So I think it does depend to like, have you tried before? Mm -hmm. Like how, what is, the, what is the situation like? Yeah. yeah. My mom has terminal brain cancer. I feel mm. like I'm running out of time. Oh, if no. that changed your decision, you guys are welcome to switch sides. There we go. Yeah. Sorry. I think they need to get deeper. What was the abuse? Like, what was the abuse? Because I know as Christians, we're supposed to be, like, forgiving and whatnot. But there are certain things I will draw a line on. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I'm also newer in my journey, so maybe that's, I don't know. But like, there's certain things I will draw that line on. I just wouldn't want you to regret. I've had the same type of thought, should I cut someone out of my life? But then I don't want to hold this anger and resentment for this person and die with this feeling. I actually did experience that. My mother did pass of cancer and I did not have a good relationship with her the majority of my life. I did not get her very long, but at least the last few years that we did have, we were able to have open conversations and me hear her perspective for the first time ever. And it gave me a very different view on things because as parents, I am a mother of five. We do the best we can with what we have at the moment. To know I loved her, I knew she loved me, completely changed everything when she did mm. pass on, which was 10 years ago. Mm. I was raised in a cult-like religious community where my abuse occurred. Mm. Due to my mother's religious conditioning, she swept my abuse under the rug. Oh no. You guys have another chance to switch sides if you feel compelled to. <sighs> y'all y'all know what that means. That means whatever religion she was in, she was um she was essayed. She was essayed. That's tough. That's a tough thing to forgive. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um and the fact that the mom's now dying of brain cancer makes it tougher. I don't know if you should forgive the mom, but maybe if if, if y'all have not had this conversation, maybe give her a piece of your mind one final time. It's to be like, yo, this is what happened. This is how you felt. This is how I feel like you failed me and blah, blah, blah. Get it all off. Because this, this is probably going to be your only time to ever do this. She got brain cancer. From there... If, if the mom has the, the light bulb moment and it's like, oh, I, I did fail you and apologizes, maybe y'all can mend something and it, the last couple, however long, can be just on better terms. But yeah, that's tough. That's tough. That's really tough. It's difficult being in a cult, just thinking of being brainwashed, and that could have affected her mom. And maybe the cult was yeah. like encouraging to act like it didn't happen. When yeah. parents show stress around a child, mm -hmm. that kid will like pick up on the stress. Mm -hmm. And maybe this was her attempt to maybe make it not hurt mm -hmm. as bad, you know? Mm -hmm. And like it's not the right thing to do, but mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. this was kind of her way of dealing mm -hmm. with it. I would just like to add though 
attempting to mend the relationship does not excuse the behavior. It's more about understanding the context mm -hmm. and trying to seek closure for yourself. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Case yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. A pastor of my church uh, oh, no. Don't worst say and groomed no. me. Don't say it. She was married, I babysat his children. My abuse caused me to lose my community. Mm -hmm. When I had gotten strong enough to potentially try and bring it to light, my mom did have evidence of the abuse and she chose to destroy it. That's messed up. That's messed up. Um, it sounds like the mom was really brainwashed. And the only reason I'm gonna say that one of my friends, um, her sister is in a cult, in a, in a religious cult right now. And the things that her sister has done and allowed to happen to her, not only her and her children, is messed up. And I guess when they was trying to like get her to see it, like, hey, you understand that this is happening. But she's just like, you guys don't understand because of blah, 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 blah. And she, she just talk about it so like, it didn't make any sense to like to us because we're not brainwashed. It did not make sense. It, it I can't even imagine what the kids feel like, right? Because they were young dealing with this, and they're probably gonna be like this young lady right here. It is she's brainwashed, and I don't think you're not gonna get her out of that. I think all you can really do is just say your piece one last time and. What happens from there happens from there. At least you know you got it all off your chest, your anger, your sadness, all of that. And however your mom reacts is how she reacts. That don't mean you have to beat her up until the very end if she still don't want to get it. But it, that's, that's tough. That's tough. How many times have you tried to mend this relationship? Probably for my whole life. Oh. My last contact oh, with yeah. her was in April. I flew states away to be with her and she walked out of a room I was in and that was how we said goodbye that day. I lived a pretty gaslit existence and so I wasn't always aware of the abuse I lived in. It's only been the last decade or so mm. that I have learned about myself and what is right and normal. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah. You do not have to apologize for being a human being. Yeah. Yeah, for your hard. personal peace and for you to find forgiveness, do you think that that requires a mended relationship mm. with your mom? At the time of her diagnosis, she had a 1% chance to live the next five years. It's been oh, one year. With her diagnosis, it's clear to me that she's willing to die with this. And that is so extreme to me. Mm -hmm. She has asked me questions like, well, think of his children. She's befriended his ex-wife, who is the wife he was married to when all of this happened. And it feels really extreme. It feels bad to know that my mother is suffering mm -hmm. and to not be able to comfort her in the way that I wish. Mm -hmm. But in order to do that, it really feels like I'm letting myself down. Mm -hmm. And I'm the only one that's going to stand up for myself. There's nobody else. And so yeah. to appease her death so she can have a peaceful death when my life has been so tumultuous, mm. Mm. I can't. Jubilee, this is tough. Jubilee, this is tough. It's tough. Yeah, I understand. It's, this is tough. Your mother oh. doesn't deserve to have that peace. And I feel like many in that relationship is going to give her peace. And you're not going to have that because you've had a traumatic life. I totally understand the boundaries. I agree with all of your points, but this is your mother. Things don't just go away over time. I think that's the biggest lie. Time heals things. No, it does not. You addressing your things heals things. And so you have an opportunity to do that, and she doesn't have much time left to. Sorry to kind of counteract the whole thing where it's like, it's your no. mom. Like, blood only goes so far. And her being blood related to you doesn't excuse hmm. everything that she's done. I kind of disagree a little bit. I think. It definitely doesn't excuse. If she doesn't want to take accountability, that's, that's on her, right? That's not your problem anymore. Yeah. But for your own sake and for your own peace of mind, I think it's really important that you really give it your all, especially in this crucial time that you have.
I was wondering what do you need in this moment to feel like safe and secure? What? What do you? I don't know. I would like. Bro, she's talking to a room full of strangers asking y'all for advice and you're randomly just like, what do you need to feel safe? This is probably the most safety and security that she didn't got in a while considering the mom don't listen to her. Like, what are you talking about? I, I, I don't know. Maybe I just, maybe I just don't get the question because this whole generation is way more like with therapy and softer than what I was raised in. But like, I just don't, I don't get that. I feel like that was a waste of a question considering all of this is timed. Validation. Yeah. I would like to feel loved. I would like to feel a part of something. Do you currently have a support system? And mm. if so, what does that look like mm. for you? That's a better question. That's, That's a way better really question. That's been really hard. That's been a trending struggle in my life because I feel like I've carried around feeling like an outcast. I feel like I've been chosen over and that I am not worth even my mother's care or concern. So finding community with that hard. on my back is hard. Has been a very big deal. Um, I I do have a spouse, and I do okay. have a six-year-old son. Okay, that's good. They're the best things in my life. That's good. That's good. That's that's tough. That's tough. It just seems like it's at a point where she's tried everything. Her mother must have value because she wouldn't be doing all this. True. I think she's actually found her like peace. If her mom wasn't I sick, I don't think she would be in oh, this no, situation no, no, no. right now. The diagnosis brought up a lot of pent up anger inside right. of her that she now wants to put out. If her mother dies and looks back and says, I wish I did this, I wish I did that, I think that's gonna end up eating her even worse. The ground zero should be, what does she want? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. What does she want, what does she need? I'm be real with y'all because it says like to make up with her. You at least need to, have, like I said, you need to at least have that one last conversation. That's what you need to do. Put it all out there on the line. And you got to understand, like I said, with, when I told you a story about my friend's sister, she's, the mom's brainwashed and she's gone. She ain't even thinking about the child like that anymore. She, she's just so far gone. It, it's it's kind of a wrap. Like you, you're not going to change her mind. She's not going to change how she feels. But if you need to get all of this off of you, to like have a sort of weight lifted, have that final convo before she passed. Because if she passes and you never get any of that off your chest, you're gonna, you're gonna feel it. You're definitely going to feel it. We all agree that it is better to regret doing something than not doing something. We never know what it's like when someone's on their deathbed. And so we just feel like keeping the door open is better than keeping the door closed. Yeah. We were listening to what you stated that you wanted. You wanted to feel loved and you wanted validation. You can achieve those things without mending the relationship through support systems, finding therapy, finding a community. You have the love from your family on your side. So for that reason, we, we said you should not mend it. Yeah, but that's gonna take a while because she obviously has a trust issue because have a community failed her. Decision. Yes. This is a tough one. I don't know what she gonna do. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't know where she gonna go. It's a really tough one. Okay. Hey, if that's how she feels. Like you guys said, I can offer myself the things that I need moving mm -hmm. forward. And mending the relationship takes a lot of energy and takes me back to a lot of places that I've already yeah. moved through. Both okay. boxes really suck for me. <laughs> and yeah. I, yeah, I bet, I bet. I like the possibilities in this box more. All right, we about to get to two weeks show. later. That was the first time I've ever talked about it. I came away feeling like maybe I had a powerless attitude towards it and it didn't have to be that way. You know, I have spoken to pretty much everyone now about this situation. So I decided to get in contact with law enforcement and have a conversation with the detective just going over what happened to me. Good job. Was there any part of you that wanted to reach out to your mom when you did reach out to law enforcement? It's a lot harder to do when interacting in real time. I find myself more thinking of writing her letters 
to just know that I'm expressing myself. And so I'm hoping that will serve for some kind of olive branch. You know, since okay. opening up that dialogue with the jury, I have found myself much more open to finding a middle ground. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Her situation, tough. Like I said, tough, but sounds like she knows what she wants to do and how she wants to move forward. Uh, if you guys want to see me react to more videos just like this one, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never start dropping a video. And to stay up to date, always check the community tabs right here on my channel. And with that being said, you already know who it is. It's Sang. Yeah, yeah,